Liverpool Walking Tour. Hello guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Travel the World. If you want to visit any other country in the next video, then tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today I am going to talk about things to do in Liverpool, it is a city in metropolitan borough in Merseyside, England. Its population in 2019 was approximately 498,042, making it the 10th largest English district by population. Liverpool's metropolitan area is the 5th largest in the United Kingdom with a population of 2.24 million. Liverpool is on the eastern side of the Mersey estuary and historically lay within the ancient hundreds of West Derby in northwest England's county of Lancashire. There are many worth visiting places in Liverpool, let's head to them. The Beatles No Beatles fan can leave Liverpool unturned, and a pilgrimage to the city where it all began for those four boys will be anything but dull. A true Beatles experience is up for grabs at every single turn you take. The first stop must be the Beatles story on the Albert Dock, the ultimate dedication to the Fab Four on the whole planet. Follow John, Paul, George and Ringo from their early beginnings of the Quarrymen to the global Beatlemania that swept throughout the world and beyond. Hop on board the Magical Mystery Tour, a two-hour bus trip extravaganza that transports you through a Beatle-infused world as you travel to Liverpool's various Beatles landmarks, like Penny Lane and Strawberry Fields. If you're looking for a more eco-friendly way to explore the Beatles' hometown, Liverpool Cycle Tours offers you the perfect opportunity to see all the sights, whilst still being kind to the environment. Royal Liver Building 360 For the first time in its 100-plus year history, Liverpool's world-famous Royal Liver Building has unlocked its doors to the public with the launch of Royal Liver Building 360, a brand new, must-see visitor experience and fully guided tower tour. Offering public tours of the Great I-listed building for the very first time, as well as a world-class audio-visual experience inside the historic clock tower and panoramic 360 degrees views across Liverpool from the 15th floor viewing platform, this is a true bucket list experience. Tours begin in the brand new lower ground floor visitor center where the building's rich history starts to come to life before guests meet their tour guide and take an express lift to access the Royal Liver Building's 10th floor balcony before climbing on foot to the historic clock tower to watch the audio-visual show and then continuing on foot to the 15th floor, just below the famous Liver Birds, with stunning views across the city and the Mersey. Anfield Stadium Anfield is a football stadium in Anfield, Liverpool, Merseyside, England, which has a seating capacity of 53,394, making it the seventh-largest football stadium in England. It has been the home of Liverpool Football Club since their formation in 1892. It was originally the home of Everton from 1884 to 1891, before they moved to Goodison Park after a dispute with the club president. Anfield has hosted numerous international matches and was one of the venues used during UEFA Euro 1996. The ground hosted three group games and a quarter-final. The first international match hosted at Anfield was between England and Ireland in 1889. Football is one of the city's greatest passions. There are two big clubs in the city, but it's those playing in red who enjoy most of the attention. Liverpool FC opens its Anfield Stadium to visitors during the day when no games are scheduled. Led by enthusiastic guides, the museum and stadium tour gives sports fans behind-the-scenes access to one of the best-known soccer clubs in the world. Liverpool Cathedral Liverpool Cathedral is the cathedral of the Anglican Diocese of Liverpool, built on St. James's Mount in Liverpool, and the seat of the Bishop of Liverpool. It may be referred to as the Cathedral Church of Christ in Liverpool, or the Cathedral Church of the Risen Christ, Liverpool, being dedicated to Christ in a special remembrance of his most glorious resurrection. Liverpool Cathedral is the largest cathedral and religious building in Britain, and the eighth largest church in the world. The cathedral is based on a design by Giles Gilbert Scott and was constructed between 1904 and 1978. The total external length of the building, including the Lady Chapel is 207 yards, 189 m, making it the longest cathedral in the world. The cathedral is open daily all year round from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., except Christmas Day, when it closes to the public at 3 p.m., and regular services are held every day of the week at 8.30 a.m. The building also plays host to a wide range of events and special services including concerts, 
academic events involving local schools, graduations, exhibitions, family activities, seminars, conferences, anniversary services, and many more. Its maximum capacity for any major event including special services is 3,500 standing, or about 2,300 fully seated. Liverpool Central Library a major public library and archive service in a building with a unique blend of old and new architecture dating back to 1860. It is free and fully accessible to visit, and there are excellent facilities throughout. It includes a tourist information center, cafe, free Wi-Fi and computers, printing, study spaces, bookable meeting rooms, and a roof terrace. There are books for lending, including graphic novels, large print and audiobooks, language courses, CDs, and DVDs. There is a children's library in a transformed historic space with a large collection of books. Free events are put on during school holidays. There are extensive reference collections, some of which are housed in the magnificent circular Picton reading room. Special collections and rare books are held in the historic Oak Room and Hornby Library where exhibitions can be seen. Extensive archives from the 13th century onwards are held in family and local history can be researched. There is also a business and IP center. St. John's Beacon Radio City Tower, also known as St. John's Beacon, is a radio and observation tower in Liverpool, England, built in 1969 and opened by Queen Elizabeth II. It was designed by James A. Roberts Associates in Birmingham. It is 138 meters tall and is the second tallest freestanding building in Liverpool and the 32nd tallest in the United Kingdom. When considering the height of the building, it has a 10m long antenna on the roof, making it the tallest structure in Liverpool, including antennas. John's Beacon, one of Liverpool's most iconic landmarks is open all year round, seven days a week and offers unrivaled views of Merseyside, the world, North Wales, and as far away as Blackpool. The tower was refurbished in 1999 at a cost of £5 million. It reopened as Radio City 96. In August 2000, St. John's Beacon, one of Liverpool's most iconic landmarks is open all year round, seven days a week and offers unrivaled views of Merseyside, the world, North Wales, and as far away as Blackpool. The Beacon is also home to the award-winning radio stations Radio City, Radio City Talk and Great Hits Radio, the studios of which you can see when visiting the viewing gallery. There is no time limit on your visit, and we are totally wheelchair-friendly. Head. The Pier Head, properly, George's Pier Head, is a riverside location in the city centre of Liverpool, England. It is part of the Liverpool Maritime Mercantile City UNESCO World Heritage Site, which was inscribed in 2004. As well as a collection of landmark buildings, recreational open space, and a number of memorials, the Pier Head was, and for some traffic still is, the landing site for passenger ships travelling to and from the city. The site encompasses a trio of landmarks, built on the site of the former George's Dock and referred to since at least 1998 as the Three Graces. Royal Liver Building, built between 1908 and 1911, Cunard Building, constructed between 1914 and 1916, and Port of Liverpool Building, built from 1903 to 1907. The Mersa Ferries operate from George's Landing Stage, owned by the Mersa Docks and Harbour Company. Ferries travel to Woodside in Birkenhead and Seacombe in Wallasey. In addition to the Mersa Ferries, Pier Head previously served as a major tram and later bus interchange. Mercy Rail's James Street Station is a short walk away. The station was formerly part of the Mersey Railway. Liverpool 1 Liverpool O&E is one of Europe's leading retail and leisure destinations, set in the heart of Liverpool city centre built around the existing streets of Liverpool, the 1.65 million SQ feet contemporary open-air complex is a stylish must-visit for those who love to shop, eat, drink and relax. Liverpool O&E includes over 160 stores, bars and restaurants, a fantastic 14-screen cinema, an indoor adventure golf course, and a 5-acre park. Stores include high street favourites such as Topshop, John Lewis and Debenhams. Peters Lane, Liverpool One's designer fashion hub, is the home of big brand style. It plays host to stores including Whistles, Radley, Rice, Hobbs, The Coupless, Karen Millen and Flannels. It is also home to the first beauty bazaar, Harvey Nichols in the UK, the ultimate luxury beauty experience and one-stop destination for all things beauty. 
The boutique arcade is nestled perfectly within Liverpool O&E, neighboring other big high street brands. Liverpool O&E was awarded Best Large Visitor Attraction at the Liverpool City Region Annual Tourism Awards 2012 for its offer and commitment to the delivery of a world-class visitor experience. Tate Liverpool Tate Liverpool is the most visited gallery of visual art outside London and home to the national collection of modern and contemporary art in the north of England which is free to view. Displays change often so there is always something new to see. If you are visiting in summer 2019 you'll be able to see the first major UK exhibition of American artist Keith Haring. Haring was inspired by graffiti, pop art and underground club culture. Visitors can enjoy more than 85 artworks including large, vibrant paintings, drawings and sculptures. They have a Changing Places toilet, a shop and cafe located on the ground floor. Families have great days out at Tate Liverpool. They also have free activities each day with additional activities in some school holidays. Specifically have a designated family space, buggy parking, baby changing facilities, and you can breastfeed wherever you feel comfortable. So, which of the following places you have liked the most and why? Tell us in the comments. Also don't forget to like the video as well. Thanks for watching.